Today's morning devotional. Those who have conquered. Job knew that his Redeemer lived. I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Job chapter 19 verse 25 and 26. Into the experience of all there come times of keen disappointment and utter discouragement, days when sorrow is the portion, and it is hard to believe that God is still the kind benefactor of his earth-born children, days when troubles harass the soul, till death seems preferable to life. It is then that many lose their hold on God and are brought into the slavery of doubt, the bondage of unbelief. Could we at such times discern with spiritual insight the meaning of God's providences, we should see angels seeking to save us from ourselves, striving to plant our feet upon a foundation more firm than the everlasting hills, and new faith, new life, would spring into being. The faithful Job, in the day of his affliction and darkness, declared, My soul chooseth, death rather than my life. I loathe it. I would not live alway. Let me alone. For my days are vanity. But though weary of life, Job was not allowed to die. To him were pointed out the possibilities of the future, and there was given him the message of hope. Thou shalt be steadfast, and shalt not fear. Because thou shalt forget thy misery. And remember it as waters that pass away. From the depths of discouragement and despondency Job rose to the heights of implicit trust in the mercy and the saving power of God. Triumphantly he declared, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him.